Hello, I'm Craig Bouchon with Home Energy Solutions Radio. We're out here with Bob Brock at Miller. Miller. Miller's out here in beautiful Austin. All right, and what you're going to see behind this is something I want you to pan in on because this, Bob, this is fantastic. This is like a science project you get you have right here, a little laboratory. That's exactly right. You know, right inside the, the showroom. I see you're using AcroBalance here, the AgriBalance product versus the bad insulation. Tell us real quick uh, what the differences are. Well, yeah, I, I'm glad you asked. At the AgriBalance product um, is a soybean-based, uh, corn and soybean-based product. It's open cell. The reason why we choose open cell is because if there is ever that chance for a leak, you would actually be able to see it. If it's closed, you would, that could be a problem, so we don't do that. But the beauty of it is, is in what the test here is, is that it's showing when you just kind of invert the house, this is the sun coming in and uh, the heat coming through the agribalance. Basically, your attic is at 76.1 degrees. The reverse of that is with the fiberglass insulation, and we've only had this on for, what, three or four minutes? Yeah. Uh, is already up to almost 86 degrees. So there's a big difference. One of the things that I don't think people really understand it also is, is that there's air that comes through the fiberglass where it does not come through the agribalance. And when people test our values, like Owens Corning, when they test our values, that's in a chamber that has no air movement. So the R values are higher. As soon as there's movement in the attic, which you always have with soffit vents and everything else whenever you use fiberglass, is that reduces the R value. Hence, that's why the attic becomes hotter. So as an example, here in this house, the hottest this attic has ever been um, this year, when we've had 65 degree or 65 days of over 100 degrees, is 80.8. That is it. Which you can just envision if that's where your HVAC is up in the attic, how efficient that runs, as well as just not having a lot of hot air trying to be forced into the house. So it stays a lot cooler. Well, I'll tell you, folks, that's what sophistication is. That's what a builder takes the time to understand the different sciences. That, we're out, that are out there for people to deal with, that builders can use, product that's out there that builders can use. This, though it's an agri-base, doesn't mean you can eat it, all right? So let's make sure. Now, how many of these homes do you have here right now that are built like this using this system? About 35 or 6. 35 or 36 of those. That's fantastic because the majority of subdivisions out there, you know how many they have? Zero. So I want to thank you for sitting with us today, talking about this and stuff. And again, we're here with Bob Rock, Streetman Homes at Miller. And uh, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, thank you for asking that. My number here at Miller is 473-3725. And we have a model that people definitely can come and check out and see, and see this demonstrated and see our great, great homes here. Good stuff. Again, I'm Craig with Home Energy Solutions Radio. Always tune in to us every Sunday on ESPN 1530 AM.